Hey YouTube friends! Hey, I'm Sarah Lay and this is part 3 of a 3 part series on how to shoot in manual mode like a pro. In part 1, we talked about aperture and we learned to shoot in aperture priority mode. Part 2 was all about shutter speed and we shot in shutter speed priority mode. And now we're on to part 3, ISO, and we will be shooting in full manual mode by the end of this video. What does ISO stand for? In the photography world, ISO stands for International Standards Organization, a standardized industry scale for measuring your camera's sensitivity to light. Some of the most used ISO settings are 100, 200, 400, 800, 1600, and 3200. In a nutshell, the rule on ISO is when shooting in darker environments, you should use higher ISO. For example, on sunny days, set your camera to the lowest ISO setting available, mainly ISO 100 or 200. On cloudy, rainy days, ISO 400 is usually the go-to setting. Shooting indoor in a brightly lit room, use ISO 800. Shooting indoor in a dimly lit room, use ISO 1600. Shooting in a very dark interior or exterior environment, use ISO 3200 or above. The catch here is, the higher the ISO, such as at 800 or more, the noisier or grainier the image will be. So proceed with caution. Now that we've talked about aperture, shutter speed, and ISO individually, let's go over how they all work together. Here is my own analogy of the exposure triangle. It may not be technically correct, but it helps me to understand the concept in a visual way. Imagine the subject that you want to photograph is inside a room. There's an open window framed by a pair of curtain panels bringing in light from the outside. Aperture is how wide the curtain panels are open. Shutter speed is how long the curtain panels stay open. There's also a dimmable lamp inside the room that's always on to provide additional lighting for your photograph. ISO is that dimmable lamp. It is always on at its lowest setting of 100. However, you can dim it up if the room is too dark. ISO is there to help providing additional lighting for your shot. Every photographer approaches manual mode differently. This is the order of how I set my camera when using manual mode. Shutter speed, aperture, then ISO. First, I set the shutter speed. If it's a handheld shot, it's safest to set the speed to double the focal length of your lens to avoid shakiness. For example, if you're shooting with a 50 millimeter lens, then use 1 one hundredth as the minimum shutter speed. If your subject is moving, you may want to use a faster shutter speed. Are you in a dark environment? If so, you may want to try a slower shutter speed to let more light in. But remember, anything slower than 1 60th of a second may turn out blurry. Next, I set the aperture based on how creamy or in focus I want the background to be. If it's a portrait shot, I usually use one of the widest aperture settings available for the lens. That way, the subject will stand out against a dreamy backdrop. If it's a group or landscape shot, I use a smaller aperture, resulting in a deeper focus to make sure everyone or everything is in focus. After you've set both your shutter speed and aperture, look at your light meter. Place the focal point at your subject, then press the shutter button halfway down and watch the light meter in your camera. If it lines up in the middle where the zero is, you have a good exposure. If it shifts too much to the right, your photo is overexposed. If it shifts too much to the left, it's underexposed. Once you've set your aperture and shutter speed, it's time to adjust your ISO. Look at your light meter again. If your image is overexposed, reduce the ISO until the meter lines up in the middle. 
If your image is underexposed, increase the ISO until the meter lines up in the middle. Personally, I would much rather underexpose a photo than overexposing it, because when you blow out the highlights, there's no way to bring it back. Also, if the meter is slightly to the left or to the right of the zero, your photo is still okay. It's a creative choice whether you want to slightly under or overexpose your image. And that is how you shoot in manual mode. Now grab your camera, set it on manual mode, and go on a nice long photo walk. For the most beautiful light, go during the magic hour of sunrise or sunset. Take lots of pictures using the manual settings we discussed. See what your shooting style is. There's no one right way to shoot manually. Some people prefer to adjust aperture first. Others prefer to choose their shutter speed or ISO first. You'll soon discover your own personal style and preferences. Have fun, guys. If you have any questions, just post them in the comment section below. And if you find this video helpful, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you.